What's up y'all, it's Hoop Tribe Gil. In this video, I'll be doing a Q&A from questions from you guys in my Instagram story. So without further ado, actually with further ado, make sure to drop a like if you guys like these type of videos and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because I'm gonna be dropping hella more content soon that you guys definitely will like and enjoy. So like, comment, subscribe. And with now, without further ado, let's get into it. First question is from Jenki404. He's asking, I guess, daily things basketball players should do to get to the next level. Um, there's really no secret formula on what you, what you need to do. It's more so being consistent with what you do. So you just gotta make sure you put in work every day, whether it's in the morning, late night, or both. But yeah, just staying consistent. I think that's the biggest thing to get to the next level, whether you're trying to play high school, college, or pros. Gavin underscore Singe underscore, a lot of letters there. Um, he's asking, what is the most important thing in basketball? In my opinion, the most important thing in basketball is defense and playing together. I think playing together as a team, whenever whenever teams play together, they win the most championships. You've never you never really see a, a team win a championship just because one guy is is gross. And I'm talking about uh, college and NBA because in high school you can get away with you know just being like really good, like one good player and and carrying them to the the states uh, state championship and whatnot. But once you reach the next level, like college and NBA, it's really just about playing together and in my opinion defense i always think defense is more important than offense so that's just my opinion though so what do you guys think i mean is defense more important than offense or is offense greater than defense next question is from my boy uh giselle loma he asked how do i get to the lead i thought this was a sarcastic question at first and but then i thought about it a little bit and really it goes back to that first question where it's it's just about being consistent and just how bad you want it, you know? Um, everyone has that dream of going to the NBA, but then very few actually execute that dream and put in the work, wake up early in the morning, stay up late at night to put in that extra work to accomplish their dreams. So it's really just about being consistent with the amount of work you put in, working hard. And, and at times, I mean, people just get blessed with amazing talent like height and ability to jump really high and you know they're just blessed with that but it's just a matter of how bad you want it and consistency next question is from alex Patton. he's asking what is my motivation that's a good question uh my motivation um it really changes as you go as you grow throughout life um but as of now my motivation is probably my family and being the best I can be. Um, you know, I, I always try and make my family proud with anything I do. I always try and make them proud. And as for myself, I'm always trying to be a better version of myself. Um, always putting extra work in whatever it is, uh, whether it's content creating, like I said, or school. So that is my motivation. Next question comes from Eman Max. Um, he asks, what is your best game? my best game uh i didn't play college so i'm gonna choose from high school games my best high school game has to have been um probably uh this wasn't in season though it was a camp in the summer uh it was uh an mb riddle it was an mb riddle camp i think my best game where I had about like four charges. I took like four charges against one of the best teams there and uh, hit a few threes. I don't remember how many points I had, but I remember that being my best game because I had like four charges and I locked up their best player. And I remember winning that game and, and the NBA Roto head coach was there and he was watching, but I mean, I didn't get no offers or anything like that, but I mean, he was there watching, but it definitely felt good to perform like that in front of him. Uh, multiple people asked, uh, how tall am I? Um, I'm 5'10", plain and simple. I used to say 5'11", but I'm done bragging about my height. <laughs> I'm 5'10". Next question comes from This Is Trio. He asked, if you could play in the NBA and choose what team you would play for, what team would it be? 
Uh, definitely. Well, I have two, but uh, it'd probably be the Heat, just because I'm from down here. I'm from Miami, so I love their culture, like the way they play. Uh, they play hard on defense, and like I said, defense is defense was championship. So probably the Heat, and if not, the Lakers. Definitely the Lakers. I love to play with LeBron, um, and just because like the organization is so like it's so it's so classic, you know, like it's yeah probably the the Heat number one though for sure, for sure. Next question is from Lando. He says, do you have any other jobs besides content creating? Definitely. I am a part-time barber. I know how to cut hair a little bit. And I also work at a supermarket. And if you uh, follow my TikTok, you've definitely seen those tic those supermarket TikToks where they're not that funny, but it's because I'm bored as shit. So um, yeah, I work at a supermarket and I do barbering part-time. Uh, how to become a better basketball player for the team. This is from Sebastian70. Um, that's a good question, but I think it goes back to what I mentioned before, which is buying into buying into your team and, and working, playing together as a team. It, you just have to like truly admire your teammates, whether it's for the good or bad, you know, they're made, there's always teammates that, you know, they're annoying and whatnot. And then there's teammates you prefer hanging out with, but you just have to learn how to admire the good and the bad of all of your teammates, recognize them and, and just live with it and, and learn how to play together. Um, and trusting in what your coach says, you know, if your coach says, you know, your position is this and you don't agree with him, have a, a good conversation with him, you know, no need to, to take criticism in a bad way. You know, he might be doing it for your own good. Most of the time they're doing it for your own good. So always try and talk to your coach if you don't agree with what your role is on the team. And, but most of the time, you know, they're right. They're right with what your role is on the team. And if you think you're a starting point guard and, or you think you're the number one scoring option on the team and that's not what your coach thinks, then it's always, it's always good to talk to them and see what their opinion is on it. And to work things out, but in a, in a professional, like, like in a loving way, you know, there's no need to, to hate on the coach, even if he says, you know, you're, you, you have to be the sixth man off the bench and that might be what's best for the team, you know? So just trusting in what uh, your coach and your team believes in. Next question is from Taylor Hodgen. He says, what's the most important thing a point guard should master? And this is without a doubt, no hesitation, ball handling. And that's because when you're a point guard, you will be getting hell from defense. And I know from firsthand experience, I was a point guard. And and when they press and when they play up, up high on defense, the most important thing is ball handling. Because if you don't know how to dribble that ball, you will get ripped. You will get cookies all day and it'll be layups on your head, dunks on your head all day. So make sure you master ball handling. I even have a few videos on ball handling already. Make sure to go check those out. And and yeah, bro. and right after that, right after ball handling is shooting. Cause in today's game, if you don't know how to shoot, you're worthless in my opinion. Um, unless you're seven three with max wingspan and you jump really high. That's basically about it. Um, next question comes from uh, Keith uh, Gamek. Uh, he says, drop a daily routine. Um, my daily routine now wouldn't really apply to you guys because I'm in college and I don't play basketball full time like I did before. But my high school daily routine when I was playing was wake up five in the morning, uh, to, uh, go put up shots, school at seven and at two I had practice from two to five and then I would have a spring or fall or even a season game around seven. So and then after that, I would sometimes go put up shots after the uh, after the game. So like around nine. Go home at 10, shower, eat, 11, uh, around 10 or 11, and then start all over again. EY13 says, should I go running for basketball conditions? Um, that's a funny question. Uh, actually, yes, you definitely should. Most definitely. You have to be conditioned for basketball. You, you should be able to last all four quarters without getting subbed out if you want to be the best basketball player you can be. Um, and the reason I kind of laughed a little bit is because my old coach in high school made us run so much that whenever I see running and basketball together, I just get instant freaking flashbacks and shit. So, so yeah, but no, definitely condition, conditioning yourself uh, for basketball is very important. Uh, you gotta be, gotta be able to make sure that you can stay on that court for all four quarters. 
because you never know it might actually happen um next question is oh, what the fuck? next question is uh how do i get better that is pretty vague that is from same person ey13 oh how do i get better uh, with anything in life whether it's basketball hockey math school whatever consistency and hard work that's my best advice to anyone on how to get better in life um richa 13 says would you mind vlogging um i wouldn't mind it but it's not really my style but i would i probably would give it a try though um yeah i mean i just don't know what i would vlog about my daily life is pretty simple but it's not as crazy as you guys think i promise but i'll probably give it a try um sheila underscore jude says have you ever made a windmill dunk no i could barely dunk like straight up i can barely dunk and the last question is from justin cones he says who are the top three point guards in the league as of right now definitely steph curry is there um I'm not going to name these in order because that'd just be way too hard, but these are just the three top point guards. Uh, Steph Curry, for sure. Um, Chris Paul. And I'd have to say, I'd have to say Damian Lillard. And I know you guys are thinking, you guys are probably thinking, yo, what do you mean? What about Kyrie? But the thing is, Kyrie is pretty inconsistent and his game is tough, but... He's just inconsistent with what he does. And Damian Lillard, the three that I mentioned, Damian Lillard, Chris Paul, and Steph Curry, they show up to the floor every day and they produce this almost the same amount that they do in every game. So like if it's Steph, he's putting up seven for 10 threes every game. Chris Paul, he's dropping 10 points and 20 assists. And Damian Lillard, he's, he's going crazy in the fourth quarter every time, but it's consistent. So. Thing with Kyrie is that he'll probably sit out a game just because the earth is flat and whatnot. So, uh, um, but I do respect Kyrie's game a lot. Don't get me wrong. That's probably he is one of my favorite players. But top three point guards is Steph, Chris Paul, and Damian Lillard. All right, guys, that wraps it up for the Q and A. If you guys enjoyed this video and you made it to the end, comment down below. I made it to the end. Um, leave a like. Uh, subscribe and also comment down below if you guys like these type of things where I'm talking to you guys um, personally like this um, definitely wouldn't mind doing it I mean stay tuned a lot of more content coming soon a lot of park runs coming soon ankles taken stay tuned peace and love